Hi everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do a reading vlog because I haven't done reading vlog like in a long long while and I'm just like not in a very vlogish mood so that's why I thought I need to do some like a short reading vlog so that's why today is going to be like cozy evening reading vlog with me so we will just spend the evening together and I'm going to read this book the Discomfort of Evenings, and this book is shortlisted for International Men's Booker Prize 2020, so I am excited. I am actually, I have already started, I'm on like on page, I don't know, 72. So far, so good, but not as good as that Iranian book. <laughs> I'm going to continue reading and we will see how I feel about it later. But it's actually, very, like the narrator is very interesting, like she's just she's experiencing world in such like a detailed way <laughs> like she describes like the smallest details of like what she sees what she feels what like people around her do like it's very interesting like i, ha I haven't met like a narrator like that before so that's interesting also this book is a bestseller in the netherlands so that's great okay so now i will start reading also today i need to cook and I need, we will paint together today because my brother, he is writing a game. So and he needs some graphics, so <laughs> like very simple things like one leaf, he needs a, a fire, he needs a wind, something like that. So you will see. <laughs> but now let's start reading. Also, I really like this bookmark. I think it's cute. Look, he's like, oh, he's cute. I like him. We are going to paint <laughs> because my brother he is bored at home during quarantine in Russia it's also well now it's already finished but like there was quarantine like a few days ago and because he was bored he started writing a game like a computer game like a phone game and he needs some graphics so I'm going to paint some like elements of the game for him because it's like just one one person project and like he needs all the help he can get like for free <laughs> so that's fine i'm painting i'm not, I'm not a very good 
painter i'm not a good artist like nothing like that just <laughs> you know he needs very simple things so that's why i'm gonna help him and we will paint together so let's now let's paint Nice meeting you. Pretty. This is O'Neill next door. Real fine lady. Right now she's talking to me. And if you don't mind, it's a personal conversation. It's a wild one. It's a pleasure not being in business with you. something cool i mean i think it's kind of interesting what i started doing so i bought this thing and i thought i would every day i would put one japanese word on it with kanji furigana and translation and so that's how i, I would try and learn like kanji so it's i like it actually it's fun so and it also helps me to remember you know when you constantly look at something and I also like writing on here and also I don't know I think it's fun so this is a say kanji say so gaku say is a student and say this kanji it's also in sensei but I don't remember the first kanji for sen sensei is a teacher so that's kind of fun so gaku say sensei have the same kanji in the end which is life this kanji means I think life I think one of the meanings I might be wrong so it's fun hi everybody so it's already the next day and i will just end the vlog here so let me just tell you a little bit about the book that i was reading i have very mixed feelings about this book actually it's not very pleasant to read <laughs> in terms of it has a lot to do with like human body and this girl the narrator is a small girl she is like in her we start with her being 10 years old and then like the action progresses and she gets like 11 years old something like that and so she talks a lot about like her body and there is like so many descriptions like about like bowel movements and just like her picking her nose and then like eating the boogie out of her nose and it's just it's not very pleasant you know and also i don't know there's, there's just so much like body descriptions like body functioning descriptions which is uh, a little bit gross to be honest <laughs> and i'm not a big fan of that and also since she's like a teenager right so she's like entering this age of like self dis not self-discovery but like you know discovering the other gender and like discovering sex and not sex but like discovering this like this part of herself there is like also a lot of elements of like girls kind of peeking at guys like to see their private parts and i'm like also not very much fan i'm not a fan of these things <laughs> i don't like this part of this book it's just gross to me and it's not very pleasant to read about another part that i don't really enjoy is like there is this like small kind of sadistic element to this in terms of like kids well there are like three kids left like her her sister and her brother and her brother he's kind of cruel like he gets more cruel 
while the time progresses like he tortures animals they live on a farm and so he like tortures and he kills hamsters and i don't know it's just very cruel and i don't enjoy it i don't like reading books where kids kill hamsters and like very cruelly kill and then i don't know it's just whew, too much she herself also she found she has this idea in her head that like if her parents start sleeping together again then everything will go back to normal and so and she has this idea this like very strange idea she found two frogs in her garden and she brought them into her house and now the her idea is that if the frogs start mating then her parents will start mating and so she keeps these two frogs under her table and like it's just and of, of course the frogs are basically just slowly dying and i just i cannot <laughs> i don't enjoy this this thing but it's not like just that like there are a lot of other elements interesting elements basically this book is this book is about grief this family that she belongs to they have lost so she has lost her brother the book starts with uh, her losing her brother and it's just family and how this loss affects the whole family how it affects the relationship between her parents they kind of try to cope with this loss so there are a lot of also these interesting elements so this book is um i have mixed feeling about this i don't i don't i don't dislike it but like this gross elements i they really like make me feel uncomfortable and i don't enjoy reading about them so I'm still like halfway through the book, so I haven't finished yet. I will definitely finish it, I'm not going to DNF it. It's interesting, but at the same time, it's gross. <laughs> so this is my feelings about this book so far. <laughs> and for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short, maybe not so short, but this small vlog. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. And I will see you soon in the next videos. Thank you. Bye.